Hi, I'm Chef Scott Parker. I'm the author or co-author of the book End Your Carb Confusion, the cookbook with Dr. Eric Westman. And today I want to show you a really simple dish and I'm gonna cook a steak, a sirloin steak with a cauliflower mash and a blue cheese sauce. Really low in carbohydrates and high in protein and super tasty and very quick to make. And then after, I have something very exciting to share with you. So stay tuned and let's get started on the dish. So I've got a really tasty piece of free range sirloin steak here. You can see the fat on the outside. It's nicely marbled. So I've taken this out of the fridge about 20 minutes before I want to start cooking it. So that way it's gonna come up to temperature and I can cook it perfectly on the inside. Then I have some cauliflower florets here, some heavy cream or double cream, some blue cheese, some parsley and some butter. And it's that simple. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is make my cauliflower mash. So I'm just gonna take my cauliflower and just roughly chop it down into smaller florets. You don't need to be too prescriptive around this. It's just that they then can cook nice and evenly whilst we microwave those um, before then we, we mash them down. So just cutting them in half or chopping them roughly. Don't waste too much time. And this is such a lovely cauliflower mash. It's so easy to do. You can use fresh cauliflower, you can use frozen cauliflower. And I use the microwave because it's the fastest way to do it. It's super simple. I can put all of my flavors that I want into one bowl and then just mash it all in there afterwards. Okay, so pretty happy with that. It's all looking pretty good. Let's chop that there. So inside that bowl, let's make sure I get all of the last bits and pieces. Lovely. Inside there, I want about a tablespoon of butter, which I have here ready to go. That just goes in. And I want to season with salt. Be generous with your salt. And then a good few turns of cracked black pepper. And I'm going to use my cling film just to cover that before popping it in the microwave. I'm going to cook this for about six to eight minutes until it just breaks over the back of a spoon or a fork. There we go. So I'm gonna pop that in the microwave now. Okay, so my cauliflower has been in for eight minutes and the test is you just use your fork and push down and it should just easily break up. So what I wanna do is just mash that up nicely and all the juices at the bottom will be absorbed as we sort of crush it down. So we're making sort of this like rough, rustic cauliflower mash. Again, if you want it smoother, then by all means stick it into a blender. But I quite like this coarseness that this gives. A nice bit of texture to go with my steak. And I'm just gonna keep, and all that seasoning goes in there nicely. So you've got that butter that gives it that richness and then you've got the nuttiness of the cauliflower. And you can just keep, I mean, if you keep going, it'll just get smoother and smoother and smoother. I want to keep it quite rustic. So it's almost like a, a crush, a cauliflower crush. So I'm just going to leave that to one side now and turn my attention to the steak. So I need a medium sized pan. I've got a nice thick base pan here and I want to turn the heat up to a high heat. So we're going to get a nice high heat on our steak. And then as I've mentioned to you before, the steak has been taken out of the fridge 20 minutes before cooking. I'm going to season that really well with salt and pepper on both sides. There we go. And some freshly cracked black pepper. Good few turns. Now, into the base of our pan, which has been preheated, we're just going to add some olive oil. And then I have this long pair of tongs, which I'm gonna use. And this is one of the things that I love to use when cooking steak, because I can get nice and close, but far away at the same time to the pan and use them to help me cook. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add the fat side first. And what you can see is, I actually call this my sous chef, because I don't have to do anything. And I've added the fat side first, and what will happen now is I'm gonna render the fat down and it's gonna go into the pan, which is gonna help me cook this steak. 
So you can hear that just slowly sizzling. You know, the pan's not raging, raging hot at the moment. Let's say it's a medium to high. If it's too hot, what you'll do is you'll burn that fat on the outside before you get to render it. So we've got a nice medium temperature. So I'm gonna leave it to cook on the fat side for about one to two minutes. Okay, so we're just gonna lift this up now just so you can see. We've got this beautiful golden brown starting to happen. So we're just gonna turn it over and cook it on the first side. So I want to leave the steak. I don't wanna keep moving it. I wanna keep that pan nice and hot so it sears. The more you move it, the more you turn it, the pan's gonna cool down. And what will happen is the blood will rush to the surface and start to boil. We wanna get a really good golden crust on our steak. So we're just gonna turn it over and leave it for two to three minutes on each side. Okay, so now we've had two or three minutes. I just wanna flip this over so you can see. I've got a really good crust on here. This is exactly what I'm after, is this deep golden brown color. Okay, so it's now had about two and a half minutes on each side and I've got this wonderful golden brown color. I'm just gonna add in some butter now and use what we, a technique what we call basting. So I'm just gonna use that butter, that foaming butter, which is gonna add flavor and help with the coloring to our steak. I'm just gonna pour that over the steak just to help finish cooking the steak and achieve a lovely golden brown color. Now the next important part of cooking steak is resting. It's really important now that the steak is cooked, I can just feel that that's a nice medium rare. And what I wanna do is finish that cooking through the resting period. So it's important to leave the steak to rest for just as long as it's cooked. So I'm gonna put this to one side and start the sauce. So the, so the first thing is I'm going to just tip out this excess fat, which we don't need but there's a lot of flavor still in there. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of it into my cauliflower because that flavor that's gonna go in through there is that nutty butter and all of that beef fat. Just mix that all in nicely. I don't wanna lose any flavor when we're doing this type of cooking. Let's just give that a taste. Mm. Mm. You've got that wonderful cauliflower flavor and the butter and the beef fat that's gone in there. So those two are left. Now I'm just gonna make my blue cheese sauce. So I'm gonna pour the rest of this fat out. Okay, so I've just washed my pan out. I'm just gonna give it a nice wipe. So using exactly the same pan, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of heavy cream. And that's gotta go into a a medium to hot pan. Let that melt down. So we don't want it to be too hot, as well as what will happen is it will start to split. And inside there, I just want to drop in my blue cheese and let that blue cheese gently melt. And as it's melting, it will start to thicken. So I'm just gonna keep moving it and moving it and moving it. And as it's cooking, that cream is just slowly melting the blue cheese. And it's slowly starting to reduce. And as it reduces, it'll start to thicken and create this really simple and easy blue cheese sauce. I mean, it really is as simple as that. Two ingredients to make a wonderful blue cheese sauce to pair with your steak. Mm -hmm. Just gonna add a touch of salt in there as well. Just keep it moving. A really quick and easy sauce. Look at that, absolutely perfect. So let's just look at that sauce consistency. You just see how it drops off the spoon and creates one line. That's the perfect sort of thickness I want. So I'm just gonna turn this heat off altogether. Make sure I give it a really good stir and all that blue cheese is completely melted down. Another taste. Oh wow. That's really delicious. Got beautiful blue cheese. So I'm just gonna add in my chopped parsley. Finish with a couple of turns of 
freshly cracked black pepper. Give that another good stir. It's fantastic, look at that. Absolutely delicious. One more test, you can see it's lovely. Mm, mm. Okay, so we're just about ready to plate now. Okay, so now everything's done. My steak's rested, my cauliflower crush is ready, and my blue cheese sauce is ready. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just gently pour my blue cheese sauce all over the bottom of the plate. It's gonna form the base of our dish. Look at that, it's absolutely delicious. Next to go on is gonna be my cauliflower crush. Well, what's important when you rest meat is the juices will come out. And just look at this. All of those resting juices I want to keep because it's all flavor, all of its flavor. So I want to add that into my cauliflower mash and just give that a really good mix in as well. And keep crushing and stirring and crushing and stirring. Let's give that another taste. Absolutely delicious, really, really good. So I just want to spoon this into the middle of our plate here as well. So that cauliflower and the blue cheese. I mean, cauliflower cheese is such a classic combination. Blue cheese and steak, again, another classic combination. So all of these flavors, you know they're just gonna work. You've got the different textures from that smooth, rich sauce to this wonderful cauliflower crush, which has just been layered with so much flavor from the steak. It's just gone on there nicely. And the last job is to carve my steak and place that on top. And starting one end, just gonna carve to nice pieces. Let me just show you there, the cooking of the meat is absolutely perfect. You can see the consistency around the outside as perfectly medium rare, which is exactly what I wanted. It's just gonna go all the way down. And I carve it into small pieces just to make it nice and easy to eat. Go all the way to the end, including these fatty bits, which are for chef, me. And then we're just gonna place this on top. Now what I like to do is just take one of those middle pieces and just layer it over the top, just so you can see how perfectly cooked it is. So that is my super simple blue cheese sauce, cauliflower crush, and steak. Now, I've got some really exciting news to share. As many of you know, last year, we wrote a book called Angel Carb Confusion, the cookbook, in partnership with Dr. Eric Westman, using his methods and teaching through the four-step process. Now, I've been working really hard for the last 18 months with the Adapt Your Life Academy to create this online cooking course which I'm excited to share is available right now. So let me tell you a little bit more about the course that we've created. Other than the fact that we've created multiple recipes from the book, End Your Carb Confusion, I delve deeper into the world of cooking. Taking my 20 years plus of kitchen experience from Michelin stars all over the world to your home. Come and join me in a fantastic journey of cuisine, technique, and inspiring dishes that will be able to feed your whole family. In addition to this course, I'll be sharing this journey with you for two weekends in a row, Saturday and Sunday, answering any questions you may have. I really hope you join me on this journey. I cannot wait to start it with you.